Hey, this is Naga Canario, and uh, the first draft of the video did not work out because this was the hardest cork I've ever seen pulled out of any damn beer ever. Jesus, H on a stick. So there was a uh, first video consisted of me cursing and having a tug of war with that. Anyway, we're doing a craft brew review today. Sorry, I've had a hard day. I'm trying to wind down, and uh, I probably got blood squirting out of my ears from stress. But uh, anyway, a few weeks back. Ted Barris did uh, some beers called Crime and Punishment by the uh, Stone Brewery Company, the people that make Arrogant Bastard and uh, Double Bastard and Ruination IPA and all that. And I told him I was going to try to track it down because that was, I mean, peppers and beer. That's my two. Th that's my two things. That's that's what I. That's my life. So uh, they managed to combine those into two. Today we got Punishment. The the. Uh, the Habersham Beverage Place up by Best Buy, if you're in the Savannah area, they've got over 800 beers probably. I mean, I don't, I'm just speculating, guessing. But uh, I went up there and asked them if they could get these, and they said they were expecting to get some from Atlanta. They get a trickle down from Atlanta. And uh, they were going to be very, very upset if they didn't get some. Uh, they told me to call after Christmas, so I called the day after, and they didn't have it. And uh, went out to run some errands the following day, the Friday, it was, and uh, yesterday, I guess. And uh, got back, and they left a message on the machine. And here it is. We've got it. Punishment. So uh, anyway, I'll read the back for you to explain what this is. It basically starts with a double bastard IPA, or, or the double bastard double bastard ale. For any of those who've tried it, but uh, I'll go ahead and read it. Punishment was born uh, as double bastard ale, a heavy hitter, beast of a beer. It was already not for the timid, but with the addition of jaw-dropping quantities of freshly harvested local peppers, including mid-level red heat, green, mid-level heat, red and green jalapenos, ultra-hot black nagas, Caribbean red hots, maruga scorpions, and fatalities. It morphed into a truly punishing brew. Uh, got 82 bitterness units. It's 12% ABV. And with those kind of peppers in there, uh, yeah, that's got me curious. Anyway, uh, definitely would like to thank Ted for putting that one out there or for uh, doing that review because I wouldn't have even known about this. I mean, I thought I, I thought I knew them all, but there's, they just new ones all the time. So, anyway, enough stalling. Let's give it a go. Nope. Unfiltered, you can't see through it at all. Very nice. Good color. I'm just getting beer, I'm getting an ale flay it smell. I'm not getting any kind of peppers. Just a real sweet, sweet bready ale smell. So Wow. Wow. It tastes just like the double bastard at first. And then, boom, right in the throat. It, that hits pretty serious. Wow. I'm impressed with that. Fantastic. For anybody that's had the double bastard ale, that fantastic flip, that's, that's what you get right at first. Just an amazing taste. And before you can even swallow... It goes boom. And right there. You can definitely feel marugas right there. Man. Wow. You pick up the pepper notes, but it's not, you can't identify one specific. I think I can maybe taste the jalapenos in there, and then it just goes to hot. Bottom of the mouth and back of the throat. Whew. I'm going to go 9.5 out of 10 on this due to the originality. I mean, pepper beers 
other than the couple that I've had before that, you know, some were just okay and some were, it hasn't been explored yet. And this was the first time that I've, I've you know, seen this. There's a show called Brew Dogs on Esquire. I don't know if any of you have seen it, uh, but it's two Scottish guys and they go to the different places in uh, the country and work with the top brewers there to come up with a type of collaboration. Well, they did go to San Diego where this brewery is based and they wanted to do a, a beer reminiscent of all that. And uh, somehow Peppers came up and uh, anybody that uh, knows that, familiar with that area, that's uh, Jim Duffy's stomping grounds. So they went to him and uh, I believe, I can't confirm it, but I believe that episode was probably the uh, prototype of what of either the crime or the punishment because it ended up being quite a peppery beer and all that. But it's I, I would not recommend everybody go get this one because it's going to be too hot for some people. I mean, it's it's right up my alley. It's but it's not like eating a a fresh pepper. It's not going to hurt you that badly, but. It does come on, and it does, it does kick you in the throat. So, anyway, if you can find it and uh, you're into the spicy things, I highly recommend uh, Crime or the Punishment. I'm gonna pick up a bottle of the Crime if they've got it left. They're keeping it in the back at Haversham. You got to kind of call and request it. So, I don't imagine it going fairly quickly. Wow, it's even making the drool happen. But uh, I'm going to try to do a review on the other one as well. I was real fortunate to to look into them. They're hard to get. So Anyway, I'm not going to make this a forever video. Forever video. Uh, punish, punishment by Stone Brewery in San Diego. 9.5 out of 10. Black Nagas, Maruga Scorpions, Fatalis, Jalapenos. I mean, come on. <laughs> That's... There's nothing out there like this right now that I know of. So, anyway, everybody take care.